洗面板か。ご主人、やっと起きたか。Sorry, I had a hard time falling asleep last. Wait, what were those clothes? I point to Murasame-chan's dress. マコが気を利かせてくれたのじゃ。以前と同じデザインの服を探してくれた。前のも好きだが。こっちはやはりしっくりくるのどうじゃご主人モダサメちゃん does a little twirl her smiles completely genuine I can tell her cheery demeanor isn't faint either it's as though our conversation last night never happened still んなんだご主人反応が悪いの前の服の方が好みであったかあ、ah, crap I was so lost in thought that I didn't even realize Murasame-chan staring at me Oh, uh, this dress looks good It suits you better, I'd say I bury my misgivings I need to focus on my conversation with Murasame-chan そうであろう、そうであろう<笑>こっちの服の方が露出度が高いからなご主人は絶対間違いなく何が何でもこっちが好きだと確信しておった。Please don't shout that to the world. ご主人、エッチなのはいけないと思うのじゃ。I am not. I'm perfectly normal. 嘘をつくでない。2回も連続であんなにたくさん精液を出せるはずがない。m u r a s a m e c h a n can you please not talk about semen first thing in the morning? Did they not teach people about tact 500 years ago? That's not how being tactful works. Also, that's not what I meant when I said don't talk about semen. That's something any young man can do. Blushing in embarrassment, I nevertheless defend my honor. So, you mono no no co? So, ka, Korega. 俗に言う若さゆえの過ちというものなのだな。モラサメちゃん grins at me. Where did she get that quote from? I wouldn't call anything we did a mistake. Man, why the hell are we having this conversation? 朝からずいぶんにぎやかだね。おはようございます。おはようございます、モラサメ様。あ、サイズはいいみたいですね。Everyone shows up while I'm cleaning the shrine grounds, or rather while I'm slacking off and messing around with Murasame chan. Hitachi san narrowly avoids stepping on a landmine. Her finely honed ninja sense is at work, I'm sure. Morning, guys. Sorry for being so loud. Did we wake you up? Today's Sunday. There's no need for anyone to be up this early, except maybe Yasuharu san. Huh? Is it already that late? I look down at my wristwatch. It's 6 53. Shit, I didn't realize I've spent that long talking to Murasame chan. Wow, I better finish sweeping. Now that Murasame chan's back in her real body, she's able to help. With her sweeping alongside me, the cleaning ought to go by twice as fast. もちろん私もやりますよ。And now it's going by four times as fast. Murasame chan, you don't need to use that much force when you sweep. 力加減がまだ難しいのだ。そんなに力まなくても大丈夫ですよ。<笑>なんだか妹ができたみたいで嬉しいですね。The four of us chat as we work. 
と言いたいけどもう道具はないねやれやれ楽ではあるのだけどなんだか少し寂しいな Yasuaru san smiles as he watches us. Once we are done cleaning, we go inside to eat breakfast. Halfway through the meal. Ah, Arich san, Murasame sama. Otsutai suru no wasurete mashita. Hitachi san puts her chopsticks down and looks at us. Swallow before you talk, Murasame chan. I pick off a grain of rice stuck to Murasame chan's cheek. Hitachi san's right, she really is like everyone's little sister. Murasame chan swallows her food and asks her question again. Hi, Honjitsu, Machokoshi no Kaigi ga aru no desu ga. Murasame sama mo kaifuku shita yo desu shi. O futari tomo shusseki sare masu ka? Oh, yeah. I haven't been getting texts about the meetings these past few days. I guess everyone was just trying to be considerate. Murasame chan, are you down to go? She nods. Almost? Tomotaka san asks the question that's on my mind. Murasame-chan flexes her wrist experimentally. I wonder why you are back in your old body and all. No, that's different, my friend. My friend is not a member of Murasame Maru. Now I'm a member of Murasame Maru. Murasame chan. I am not truly human. Murasame chan sounded unconcerned when she said that, but those words pierced my heart. Tomotaka san and Titachi san look concerned as well. They're probably thinking the same thing I am. Smiling, Murasame-chan returns to her breakfast. But my appetite's gone. The four of us have arrived at the meeting together. Koharu and Rentaro, who got here before us, seem surprised by Murasame-chan's appearance. Murasame-chan holds her hand out. I guess she wants a handshake. Koharu shakes Murasame-chan's hand, her own hand trembling. Koharu vigorously shakes her head. Murasame-chan turns to Rentaro. Rentaro! Murasame-chan holds her hand out to him. Rentaro scratches his cheek awkwardly. Murasame-chan クラスには男もいっぱいおるであろうに。我が輩は常々心配しておったのだ。ご主人は実はハーレムを作ろうと画策しているのではないかと。Hey, watch it. 
Hey, is this how you treat your quote-unquote best friend? It looks like my best friend and my girlfriend are now conspiring together. I guess they share a common interest. Namely, their bonding over their mutual distrust of me. How did things come to this? Or maybe they aren't bonding after all? I shrug. Lena san walks into the room with a tray of teacups. As she says that, Murasame chan walks over to Lena san. She then cheerfully hugs Lena san. She's like an excited puppy. Murasame-chan buries her face in Lena-san's voluminous chest. Lena-san moves the tray out of Murasame-chan's way and smiles gently. Sorry, but just indulge her for a bit. I guess she's happy she can finally talk to and touch everyone. It really does feel like I'm watching over the little sister I never had. <laughs> but you are in your real body. If you tried something like that, you'd get arrested. Also, you're already in your real body. Hitachi-san and Tomotaka-san grab everyone's attention. Oh yeah, I totally forgot the main point of this meeting was finding out a way to bring money back to the town. Murasame-chan sits down next to me. I'm kind of happy she picked the spot next to me by default. I hold back a dopey grin. Now then, what happened while Murasame-chan and I were gone? Once everyone's seated, I ask for a status update. Koharu flips through her notebook. It seems she was acting secretary while I was gone. What kind of ideas? Kuharu flips through a few more pages. Wait, hold up, what? What kind of crackpot idea is that? How the hell are we even supposed to make that happen? Who came up with this stupid idea? Rentaro stands up proudly. So it was you. So, He strikes a weird pose. This isn't a game. In retrospect, I'm glad he wasn't voted leader. We don't have a goddamn racetrack. Who came up with this one? You freaking... I cradle my head in my hands. Kuharu just cross out all of Rentaro's ideas now. I cut Kuharu off. This is a waste of time. Tomotaka-san and Hitachi-san sigh. There you have it. 
やってみないとわからないだろう。No, we definitely can. They are plain unrealistic. ほら、だから言ったでしょ、このダーニ。誰がダーニだ、誰が。The two siblings start quarreling again. They are hopeless. で、これ以外にはハンは浮かばなかったのか Muda-sama-chan sips her tea and looks at the others. Ato wa, meibuts ryori o fuyas to ka desu yo. Yuru kyara o tsukuru to yo no mo demashita ga. Koharu, can I see your notebook? Hai, onin-chan. I ask Koharu for her notebook once she and Rentaro stop bickering. Flipping through, I see most of the ideas are things Muda-sama-chan and I came up with when it was just the two of us. In other words, we haven't really made any progress at all. Sumi Mase Watashimo Makomo, Maino Hono Yakaji de Amariko Kyoryok de Kinakute. Tumotaka-san looks down apologetically. Oh, sorry, I'm not blaming you or anything. This is the best Murasame-chan and I could do when we were trying to come up with ideas too. So don't sweat it. Tomotaka-san, I know you are taking this seriously. I try to cheer Tomotaka-san up. Harichi-san. Oya, oya, Harichi-san. Yoshino-sama dake desu ka? Watashi wa hochi de? Huh? I didn't mean to. I know you've been trying your hardest too, Hitachi-san. I hurriedly console Hitachi-san as well. Of course, I know you two are working super hard too. I smile at Koharu and Lena san as well. Being a leader and encouraging everyone's tough. I am not. This is slander. I'm starting to worry this committee won't get anywhere. We're almost there, Murasame-chan. Just bear with it a bit longer. We discussed ideas until noon and still ended up empty-handed. So we've decided to take a break and get lunch. I still haven't been here that long. You guys are locals, so if you have any recommendations, I'm all ears. I have no clue what restaurants are good here. Hmm, Rokanes? That place mostly serves sweets. I wouldn't mind getting dessert there, but I thought they didn't serve regular food there. Huh, really? I see. In that case, we may as well pay her a visit to boost her sales some. Murasame-chan to Mutaka-san, what do you think? Does the cafe work for you guys? Those two just want to eat some sweets. Girls really just go with their gut, huh? Yeah, there are seven of us. We might have to split up into two groups. Oh well. Hey, don't pull Murasame-chan. I gently chide her. Murasame-chan suddenly stops. 
I manage to stop myself just before I bump into her from behind. What's wrong, Murasame-chan? Uh, oh, are you okay? Murasame-chan opens and closes her hands a few times. She raises her eyebrows and smiles slightly. But I'm still worried. Want me to carry you? But it'd be dangerous if you tripped and your soul detached, wouldn't it? Her pneumonia finally went away, so it'd suck if she injured herself. Okay, but you're sure you're fine? Murasame-chan walks forward with slow, deliberate steps. Naturally, I hold her hand and walk beside her. This way, I'll be able to catch her if she slips. I've never floated before, so I wouldn't know. Murasame-chan swings her hand back and forth, taking mine with it. Murasame-chan mutters softly to herself. When I hear her say that, I reflexively squeeze her hand tighter. ね。私たちがすぐ後ろにいるの忘れてるんでしょうか。今のマサオミは村雨ちゃん以外アウトオブガンチュンなのですよ。レナ先輩、それも死後ですから。くそ。俺だって今に見てろよ。I open the cafe door and Rokane comes to greet us. Upon seeing it's me, she drops her business smile and assumes a more natural expression. Do you have room for a group? There are seven of us, you know. Rokane vigorously shakes my right hand up and down with both of hers. Uh, Rokane, aren't you overreacting? Uh, I trail off as I look inside the shop. It's deserted. There's not a single customer. Sharp as always, Rokane pieces together Murasame-chan's identity pretty quickly. Murasame-chan lowers her gaze. She fixes her eyes on the hand of mine Rokane is holding. Rokane hurriedly lets go of my hand. Now it's my turn to glare at her. No, and I'm not trying to make a harem either. I can't believe she said that in front of Rokane. Oh, 
Ah, right. I forgot everyone else is here too. Sorry guys, you can come in. Mudas and Janadaya walk further in to make space for everyone. Rokani sighs audibly. Hitachi-san and Tomotake-san do their best to cheer Rokane up. Rentaro and Murasame-chan quietly whisper in my ear. Yeah, even Rokane's cafe has ended up like this. Things are definitely bad. I might have been a bit too optimistic about how much time we have. We all decide to order dessert as well as drinks. We want to help boost Rokane's sales, every little bit counts. Hmm? Hold on, Rokane, you brought us one extra. Rokane sits down in an empty chair. You don't have to watch the shop? もちろん。There is a determined look in Rokane's eyes. She may not be saying so directly, but it's obvious the cafe is in the red. それで how do I put this? Everyone awkwardly looks away. It's not easy to admit we haven't made any progress at all. But, to my surprise, Murasame-chan flatly states the truth. Rokane collapses onto the table. Get a hold of yourself, Rokane! Murasame-chan, you've got to be more tactful about these things. Rokane's soul looks like it's about to leave her body. I rush to my feet and shake her shoulders. Murasame-chan also gets up and pets Rokane on the shoulder. So, so this ne. Rokane looks up. There's a fire in her eyes. It looks like Murasame-chan's pep talk has worked. Rokane's back to her usual reliable self. Rokane, get hold of yourself! Never mind, Rokane is definitely still confused. We continue discussing the topic of our dessert. Everyone has come up with a few more ideas. But none of them seem very promising. Yeah, 
There's a hint of exhaustion in Hitachi-san's cheerful expression. Rentaro is saying something admirable for once. I guess there's a first time for everything. レンタロウくらいの年なら普通はこんなことは考えないよ。ここは良くも悪くも独立度っぽだから。このまま法理の土地が錆びれるのは私も嫌です。頑張っていいイベント考えましょう。私が舞を it put too much of a burden on you, Tomotaka-san. I don't think it's right to make her bear the responsibility of keeping Hori bustling by herself. うん、それに見る機会が増えることにより、希少価値が薄れる危険もある。得策とは言えんの。私も吉野様に困りは。それに、ご神道イベント同様、吉野様の舞も本来は観光客を集める we unanimously shoot down Tomotaka-san's idea. Tomotaka-san's shoulders droop. She's a smart girl, but even she's resorted to suggestions like these. I'm once again reminded of how dire the situation is. There's practically no time left. Oh, it's already time for the dance? Tomotaka-san has it hard enough already. I don't want to make things any tougher on her. Tomotaka-san bows her head. あとは俺たちに任してくださいよ。吉野は前に集中なのですよ。前の方の頑張ってくださいね。本当にすみません。行きましょう、吉野様。See you guys later. 吉野、マコ、気をつけてな。はい。では。Tomotaka-san bows again before leaving the cafe with Hitachi-san in tow. That's just how worried she is about Hori. I've got to work even harder. I flip through the notebook Kuharu gave me. We should at least come up with enough ideas to fill this thing. Alright, back to the drawing board. Let's come up with an idea that's good enough to reassure Tomotaka-san. Hmm, maybe this would be best after all. But it just doesn't have enough impact. Uh, yeah. I look up from my notebook to glance at Murasame-chan walking into the room. Her hair is still damp, so she must have just gotten out of the bath. Yeah, that's a fair point. I think back to our meeting today. Rokane was utterly dejected at the state of her deserted cafe. 
and even Tomotaka-san offered to push herself harder for the sake of Hori. Actually, I think I'll keep at it for a bit longer. I'm too anxious to sleep anyway. If that happens, you can just nurse me back to health. Wow! Murasame-chan hugs me from behind, and in the process, pins my arms in place. Murasame-chan, I can't turn the pages. Murasame-chan yanks me back, pulling me away from my desk. I can feel her cute boobs pressing against me. I know I caught them hard before, but they are surprisingly soft. I wonder if that's because she is back in her real body now, or if she's just grown since then. Murasame-chan, you shouldn't speak so suggestively. Gah, I won't give in to temptation. Not gonna lie though, she almost got me with that one. Is it just me or are you getting even more aggressive? Our bodies become entangled as we struggle for control of the notebook. Neither of us is willing to give an inch. Ah! Murasame-chan flips the light switch. I definitely can't read my notebook now. Murasame-chan smiles innocently at me. Good grief. When she puts it like that, I can't refuse. Alright, I give up. Resigned, I lie down next to Murasame-chan. She snuggles up close to me. The warmth of her body is so relaxing. A wave of drowsiness washes over me. Murasame-chan hugs my arm, her voice growing fainter. My consciousness begins to fade. But even as it does, I realize Murasame-chan speaking from the heart. Send them